First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwa that believe in all sincerity. So as you see here on your screen, priests, pastors, rabbis, and imams meet to discuss a controversial new book. Religious leaders will be meeting on Sunday, July 6, 2023. The gathering is centered on a book critical of organized religion and the subsequent fallout. Unrest among fleeing flocks across many faiths had grown. So far, the author of Escape the Gods has encountered challenging situations such as criticism from religious leaders and gunfire in Lebanon during a religious roundtable with ex-Christians and ex-Muslims. Additionally, a tragic incident involving a Congolese pastor resulted in Papi Nuyoi being taken into custody for the unfortunate death of a parishioner who read the book. The book offers a fair and balanced perspective, shedding light on troubling passages from various religions and cultural practices like pedophilia. It does not pass judgment, but rather aims to reveal writings from religious books around the world. Furthermore, it presents compelling evidence of the remarkable similarities between different belief systems. Unfortunately, opponents have responded with strong emotions, including threats fatalities and fake reviews in a time when many people are turning away from religion this book poses a significant challenge to an already struggling industry the book aims to ignite a dialogue rather than foster confrontation says author of the book ks even though naysayers provide a lot of insulting fake and bad feedback to silence the book i am not afraid of controversy if it can lead to an open and respectful conversation about religious practices and beliefs. Praised by critics and readers alike, Escape the Gods has made waves in various sectors of society. Modern anthropology, for example, comments in this brilliant offering, religions and cultures are compared and exposed by their own words and actions. So as you see here, A new book, okay, is being written, and basically, um, I'm going to read this again. The book aims to ignite a dialogue rather than foster confrontation, says author of the book. Okay. And the book... Um, Well, I'll read this again. The book offers a fair and balanced perspective, shedding light on troubling passages from various religious and cultural practices like pedophilia. It does not pass judgment, but rather aims to reveal writings from religious books around the world. Furthermore, it presents compelling evidence of the remarkable similarities between different belief systems. Okay. So, the book is... Uh, comparing okay um many religious books okay and basically exposing what's written okay it's being exposed by you know the book's own passages and it's and it's uh it's offending people basically Okay. Unfortunately, opponents have responded with strong emotions, including threats, fatalities, and fake reviews. In a time when many people are turning away from religion, this book poses a significant challenge to an already struggling industry. And, and, and the thing is, is that religion doesn't have the truth. Okay, There is no answer to what is going on in the world. There is no answer in the churches. Okay. So the book is critical of organized religion. It's uh, exposing many books, many religions, and the passages that it has inside of them. Okay. Let 
okay aims to reveal writings from religious books around the world okay and uh there's a bunch of links right here but um yeah and ultimately you know the only book that you really should be reading okay is the scriptures okay and the apocrypha is a part of the holy scriptures okay through the spirit if you can receive it there's a lot of information um history that links um to the bible and there's no refuting that and yes we do read other books okay for history for you know for knowledge you know to edify but you know our main source is the scriptures okay the the holy bible this is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. None of these shall fail. Okay, none of the prophecies that are written in the scripture shall fail. None of the words shall fail. None shall want her mate. Okay, so you cannot mate the Bible with other books. You know, like the Mormons, they try to, you know, take the, the Bible and the book of mormon and say that it's um you know it coincides you know which it, it doesn't okay none of none shall want her mate for my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit it hath gathered them you see so the mouth of yahweh bashimi Ashai, okay has commanded okay this record to come about and his spirit it hath gathered them okay Let's see. There's a scripture that I wanted to get. Let's see if I can find it. Many. This is a Psalm 68. Because it says here, For the mouth, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Okay. Psalm 68 and 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Okay. Let's get this in the NLT. The Lord gives the word, and great armies bring brings the news. Okay. Because uh, the Bible is actually a collection of books, okay? So, the prophets, okay, were, were as it tells you in Luke, let's see. No, not Luke. Uh, 2 Peter 1 and 20, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures is of any private interpretation, okay? Now, when you get this word interpretation, Strong's G, 1955. Actually, it was private. Let's see. Private. Strong's G, 2398. Idios. Idios. This is pertaining to oneself, one's own, belonging to oneself. Okay. So none of the prophecies that are written in the scriptures are of any private interpretation. The prophets, they weren't speaking out of their own belly. Okay. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but by, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. You see. The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yashai's influence, okay, on prophets, you see, wrote the will of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. 
it says or from human initiative no those prophets were moved by the holy spirit and they spoke from the most high okay the lord always spoke by the mouth of his prophets again we'll get it in luke that's the one i wanted to get luke 1 and 70 as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which he had been since the world began so prophets were moved by the holy spirit to speak the words of the most high Okay, so here in Isaiah 34 and 16, it says, For my mouth I have commanded, and his spirit hath gathered them. Okay, the pro these books, okay, uh, you know, were, were, were written. Okay, they were scribed. Okay, many were that published. Okay, the word of the Most High. You see? So we are to seek out of the book of, of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and read. These prophecies are not going to fail. None shall want her mate. You're not going to make this book with any other books. So, you know, these critics that take these religious books and, you know, share, um, you know, parts of the books that they don't like just to open, you know, dialogue is, is all of, is all for nothing. Okay, because ultimately, you know, the Lord's words will stand. Okay. Wait, let's see if we can get it like this. Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's not going to return void, but it, it shall accomplish that which I please. The Lord's will um, is going to ultimately be done. And the prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit to write okay the words of the most high you see you, you cannot make this book with any other book you cannot think that you're going to expose the bible okay like some people try to expose these other books and take uh parts that they don't like and and basically uh you know criticize it It says the book, okay. Offers a fair and balanced perspective, shedding light on troubling passages from various religions and cultural practices like pedophilia. Okay, now there's things that are written in the Bible it is not for the western mind so you can try to take uh passages which you know people are labeling troubling okay and offer a balanced perspective but really the lord's will is going to be done okay and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i sent it so where the heavenly father sends uh, uh his word where the spirit is on men to to teach and to prophesy Okay, uh, you know, it, that's what's going to be done. And that message is going to go out to whoever needs to hear it, whether you hear or whether you forbear. Okay, and the scriptures speak about. <sighs> Let's get this. Book of Ezekiel. Well, even uh, the prophet Ezekiel, okay, even he said that a role was given. Let me see if I can get it through that word, role. Role. Uh. 
Hmm. We'll get this. Yeah. Ezekiel 2 and 9. And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. So that book that was given to Ezekiel was was what? Was with the scriptures. Okay. The word of the most high. And what is written therein, okay, is lamentations, mourning, and woe. So this book is not okay, uh exactly a a, a fairy tale bedtime story. Okay. You know, uh the word is is um is written within and without uh, of lamentation, mourning, and woe. Okay, the scriptures say, "Oh, Yahweh Shai said, Blessed is he who is not offended in me." Okay, and he comes in the volume of the book. Okay, to do the will of the Most High. So, you know, it's interesting how you got people that are trying to, uh, you know, take different books. Okay, and reveal the writings and, and offer their opinion. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think the book is called Escape the Gods. Okay. Escape the Gods. See if we can get a let's see. I'm trying to get a little synopsis of the book, but it says here, Escape the Gods, All of Humanity Worships Ancient Cults, The Rise of Religion, The Fall of Ethics, and The Cure. Christianity, Muslim, Islam, Buddhism, Judaism, Hinduism, Thuggy, pedophil Pedophilia, Cannibalism, or something. Okay, and I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that's that's the, the name of the book. It says, Book Description... Basically, trying to escape the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shai by, by writing, okay, against, um, you know, different topics of different books, and I'm and I'm not, and best believe they're talking about the scriptures as well, okay. It doesn't say that directly, but best believe, um, you know, they are at the top. It says uh, Christianity, right? And and where do uh, Christians uh, get their, um. You know, the basis of their teachings is, is, you know, a watered down form of the scriptures, right? Topics cover Christianity, Judaism, Islam. Well, you see right here. Okay. So. But in reality, you know, what's written therein is lamentation, mourning, and woe. Okay. Now let's get this in the book of Baruch. This is Baruch chapter 4. It says, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High, okay? And it's not speaking about Baruch being the, the commandments of the Most High, but yet the whole Bible, when you read it in its context, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High, because the Bible is is um, a collection of books, okay? None of these shall want her mate, none of these shall fail, you know, the Lord hath commanded, okay? Um what is written therein okay it's a record okay this is the book of the commandments of the most high and the law that endureth forever you see the bible is the law of the most high yahweh bashim shai has commandments precepts statutes all they that keep it shall come to life but such as leave it shall die okay and, and anyone who's writing against the the bible 
okay? You know, ultimately, you know, you're going to die, you see? But those that keep it shall come to life. Turn the old Jacob, because this book is written to Jacob, okay? Who's named, uh, cha uh, turned, uh, changed to Israel. It says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. So, you know, you be illuminated when you when you come into the knowledge, when the Lord subs with you, when, when he starts to, um, you know, give you the truth of the scriptures. It says, give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee, to a strange nation. And what's profitable? Okay, the commandments. That's profitable. And we're not to give this to a strange nation. So none of the wicked shall understand. So when we come and, and say that salvation is for Israel and not for any other nation, you know, um, you know, that, that's that's a hard saying for, you know, some of these um, these these heathen. OK, and not everyone's a heathen. We know that through the spirit, you're going to have Israelites that look like the other nations. So this book is is, is very spiritual. OK, and. If you, you know, try to write against it, which I, I'm pretty sure they did, because if they're speaking about gods, they're going to be speaking about um, the Bible. OK, the, the, that's really the the. Um, the forerunner of all books, if you will. OK, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12 and further and further by these, my son, be admonished. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. So, you know, you saw the topics that came out, right? And they had to, uh, you know, research all this. All right. And a lot of researching is weariness of the flesh. Okay, listen to this. This is a book description. It says an invisible, ominous, ominous, conflicted overseer threatened the world with eternal damnation. Now, who are they speaking against? The Most High, right? You know, so you, you know these dudes is is. is Making many books, and this is weariness of the flesh. Okay, dude's got a PhD, and you know, I think they think they're you know about something. Okay, let's see. You know, rigid religious leaders get together and want to discuss this book. They're challenging this guy's book, okay? And a lot of things have transpired because of the because of this book. All right. So, you know, you know, dudes just want to go against the Most High. You know, it's, it's really to 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 none avail, and much. And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. Let's look at this word weariness. Scriptures say to eat honey sufficient for thee. Strong's H, 3024. Yegiah. Tiring. Yegiah. Wearing. You can get weared out by, by um, you know, studying a lot. You know, especially studying a lot of stuff that, that you really don't, you know, have no business in studying. Okay, scriptures say to seek out the book of the Lord and read. Because it's not going to fail. The prophecies are, are coming to pass. All right. This is um, the book of uh, Luke 21 and 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. You see? The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which are criticized so much, are not going to pass away. You see? It's going to be accomplished. Everything, every jot, every tittle must come to pass. 
okay so so much for the this controversial book and these religious leaders meeting okay you know to uh to uh you know dialogue about this book you know the, the truth is the truth okay So, and here's some links, all right. Okay, so, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so they basically put the link of the book in the, in the article. That's, that's what that was. Okay. Here's another link. Controversial best-selling book keeps the religious world on edge and faces banned. Escape the gods. All of humanity worships ancient cults. Rise of religion. Okay, so basically, uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of uh, books and the writing of books. There is no end, but ultimately the scriptures is what it will illuminate. Israel, Israelites, so seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, okay, because that's what's going to get you salvation, matter of fact, let's get one more, this is, let's see, this is John uh, 5, and 39 search the scriptures okay search the scriptures and that's that's always our uh you know be like the church of berea that's what we say here at great millstone you know uh, like my man lavar burton from the reading rainbow you know what he used to say he's like you don't got to take my word for it meaning you know uh read read the book yourself okay be like the church of berea okay uh, study okay and eat what is sufficient for thee you know, we we'll always say that, you know, uh, this is not a, a, a marathon, but it, but it's a race. Okay. But, but uh, this is the word scriptures in John 5 and 39. Let's see. Strong's G 1124. Grafe. Grafe. It says a certain portion or section of the Holy Scripture. Okay. The scripture used to know, denote either the book itself or its contents, you see? So, you know, seek ye out of the Holy Scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, you see? And many know that the Bible um, speaks about eternal life. It's written therein, okay? You know, there's a balance, there's lamentation, mourning, and woe, but also it speaks of eternal life. Okay, it speaks of Yahushai. Okay, Yahushai is is uh, uh, um, you know the perfect balance of prophecy. Oh, 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 oh better yet, Yahushai is the spirit of prophecy. And when you look up that word prophecy, okay, it, it means to admonish the wicked, but to comfort the, uh, the 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 believers. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture in um, what is it? Revelation. Okay. Yeah, when you look up that. Let me just um, go there. Revelation 19 and 10. Yeah. Read that uh, word scripture in the. Uh, you know, look it up in the blue letter. Okay. Perfect balance. Yeah, I wish I had the spirit of prophecy. So. You know, people know that the scriptures uh, speak about eternal life, man. Speak about many things, man. Okay, many things that pertain to salvation. Okay, so Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.